Good evening, students, parents, family, friends, faculty, and community members. My name is Justin Sawyer. I'm the high school principal here at St. Anthony Village. Although this is not the graduation ceremony we were planning in February, I'm very excited that you're joining us tonight for the first ever virtual graduation ceremony. Thank you for tuning in to watch. Enjoy.
tonight, we're celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2020. It's been my honor and privilege to be their principal for the last two years. This group of seniors is smart, artistic, creative, athletic, and funny. They've provided the SAVHS staff with a lot of joy, among other emotions, throughout their high school careers. Unfortunately, our time in person was cut short due to COVID-19. In the middle of the spring of their senior year, all of our lives changed dramatically. School changed, social lives changed, jobs changed, and all of us were suddenly stuck at home. Our seniors have battled through distance learning, online work, and separation from their friends and teachers. My heart breaks when I think about some of the high school rites of passage that didn't happen this year, like prom and senior concerts and the spring play, spring sports, senior luncheon, and so much more. While working from home this spring, they have learned some important life lessons. They've learned the absolute longest they can sleep in and still get their daily attendance checks done. They've learned how many days in a row they can wear sweatpants. They've learned how to multitask while they're on a classroom Zoom meeting. They've learned how to wean their bodies off of a bell schedule that has controlled their lives for the last 13 years. They've learned how to take AP tests at home. They've learned that hide and seek is way more fun at school than it is at home. They've learned that they can get through just about anything. And hopefully they've continued to feel how much the staff at St. Anthony Village High School loves them and has missed them. Thank you to everyone watching for having an impact on the lives of these students. Your influence has made them into the young people they are today. They are ready to conquer the world. As we celebrate the completion of this stage of life, we're also excited to see what comes next. We'll always remember the class of 2020, and we are confident that they will do great things. Thank you. St. Anthony graduates. My name is Joan Jurichko, math teacher at St. Anthony High School. I just want to say that although this year ended in a way none of us could have ever imagined, it certainly ended in a way all of us will never forget. I barely remember my own high school graduation. There were some speeches, there was some music. I think there was a hat toss, I really don't remember. But your high school graduation experience is one you will remember and people will be talking about for years. You had your cap and gown and a yard sign delivered right to your home by a high school teacher or staff member. You had a parade through St. Anthony on the day of your graduation. 
you had your senior photo on a sign out front of the community center lined up along Silver Lake Road. That was such a fun surprise. My husband came home from work that day and he told me he saw all of these signs lined up along Silver Lake Road. And I didn't know what he was talking about, so I thought I would walk up and take a look for myself. I just choked back the tears. It was just so beautiful to see you all. And it hit me again how much I was missing you. We are getting through this, but for most of us, it hasn't been fun or easy. And I have to tell you, it will be so good when we can finally see each other again and I can shake your hand and tell you how incredibly proud I am of you that you made it through this tough but memorable senior year. Thank you. Hey guys, Coach Satterly here uh, on quarantine doing some social distancing. Um, and I just want to wish a very, very special senior class of 2020. Um, a huge shout out to my basketball guys, Dylan Manning, Isaac Gossett, uh, Tate Nelson, Charlie Ash, EJ Stevens. Uh, we love you guys. We're super proud of you and we're excited for the things you guys are going to do. Uh, my little piece of advice to you is go out in the world and do something that makes you come alive that like sets you on fire and gets you fired up to do. Don't chase money, don't chase status or any of that stuff. Just do something you love and do it with passion and you guys will do great things and you always have a home uh, with the St. Anthony Huskies basketball program. Love you guys and congrats. Most kids when they graduate from high school try to forget their middle school years. But I will treasure all those days because that's when I got to know and love so many of you. Then moving into the high school was just a bonus. It was like walking into middle school when I hear Miss Holton or Holt Dog, whether it's down the hallway or in the classroom, thanks to Troy, Shaden, Owen, and Devin. Anyway, um, then when I was walking in front of the signs in front of the city hall when they were there, all your posters, it just brought tears to my eyes because I've gotten to know and love so many more of you. It, this is not the way high school was supposed to end for you. This is not the way that the senior should end their year. Anyway, I just want to send you off with the very best wishes. I love you and care about you. I just want you to know um, that you'll always have a piece of my heart. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. Please remember, always have courage and always be kind. Hey, class of 2020. I just wanted to remind you, walking into the high school halls your freshman year, you're headed off to English class, and then you have Miss G. Remember how scary she was? And then luckily after my class, you got to go on to math class and see really, really kind and sweet Miss Patrick. Um, we just wanted to wish you luck in everything that you do. Um, sorry things did not exactly go the way that everybody wanted it to go for graduation. Um, that doesn't make you any less important to us. Um, so good luck in all of your endeavors. I was really, really, really lucky to have a lot of you as freshmen and seniors. Um, so that was really fun for me. Um, sorry we can't see you in person, um, but good luck and we will see you later. Thank you for all the time spent in our classrooms. I only had you as ninth graders, but I will miss each of you. You all take a small piece of me with you and leave a small piece in my heart. Congratulations. Go be Huskies in all your future endeavors. Everyone have a good life. Stay out of trouble and don't be punks. Congratulations. Hello to our class of 2020 seniors. This is Dr. Erdahl. I just wanna leave a quick message here to say, how much of a joy, honor, and privilege it has been to watch you perform, compete, and grow over the last several years 
as you've participated in various fine arts activities and sports. I know that you're well set and positioned to go on and do great things with your lives uh, and that you're going to really make a positive difference in this world. Uh, we all know that's needed right now and I know that your class is going to move forward and, and do great things. Please stay connected. You'll always be a part of the Huskies family and just want to wish you the very best and congratulations. Drop the hammer, class of 2020. Oh, oh. Congratulations to this year's valedictorian, James Hinks. Congratulations to this year's salutatorian, Julia Temple. Senior year is marked by a long list of firsts like graduation, but a longer list of lasts that both alarm and excite. A jam-packed schedule of carefully planned activities and ceremonies that dominate our final years of high school. Just as fast as homecoming ended, the whole year seemed to vanish without any warning. In some way, the pandemic gave us a, an excuse from the wonderfully scary experiences that would have had transformed us as people or expectations or or perhaps a buffer from the possibility that those experiences wouldn't live up to our wishful expectations. I believe that we've learned that sometimes it's worth ta taking risks because reality will never be what it, we dreamt it. Being able to take risks with little consequences is something we took advantage of. High school was where we could leap before we looked with the safety net to catch us. Sometimes I wish I had used that more for sometimes the most terrifying tasks can become one of the most rewarding adventures. Or maybe it turns into total chaos, but you can't say that you haven't learned from it. The pandemic offered a reservoir of wisdom, like gratitude. A gratitude not just for everything that's gone right with our lives, but for all the failed attempts at better. For trying won't always end in success, but it will always end. It will always offer stories. <laughs> And trying gives us hope or discoveries, like finally noticing the wonderfully mundane minutes that pass by without care. Mundane minutes which offer a breath of fresh air. We too often take for granted the small things that make life so incredible, things that we wouldn't have paid attention to before. You can squander away every perfectly ordinary minute on the what ifs, wondering who we could have been given the proper closure to our high school year, what memories and what stories could have come from those opportunities. However, life is messy and plans aren't guarantees. Part of what, li what makes life intriguing is its unpredictability. And the fact is, is that we aren't entitled to anything but the thoughts that circulate inside our heads. Remember that nothing was stolen from us, class of 2020, because we never really owned anything to begin with. It was rather an exchange from the highly structured plans that made life seem formulaic to the truth that no one can tr truly control the future or predict all its outcomes. In reality, things end without notice or res a resolution, yet uncertainty gives us a chance to adapt and grow as people, like a flower flourishing between two slabs of asphalt. We were given the gift of resilience, class of 2020, against the inevitable mishaps of life, while embracing the triumphs of life, which mean just that much more. In order for things to be considered valuable, it must eventually come to an end. All good things must come to an end. Uh, before I begin, I would like to take a moment to thank a few people. First of all, and most importantly, my mom, my dad, and my sister. If it wasn't for you driving me to this club, this sport, this activity, letting me borrow $20 that one time, none of this would have been possible. Thank you. Secondly, I'd like to thank all my teachers from kindergarten to 12th grade. This was all possible due to your support and incredible patience. 
Finally, I'd like to thank, to thank any other family, friends, peers, and anyone else I met along the way. It's the seemingly small interactions that truly shape who we are as individuals. Thank you. Now, sometime in April, I received an email from the high school that said they were looking for speakers for the commencement ceremony. Thinking, why not? I submitted my name. A little while later, I received another email informing me to submit a speech for consideration. Now, being the non-procrastinating, punctual student that I am, I waited until the night before to write the speech. That night, I went into my bedroom, grabbed my computer, opened a new document, and tried to start writing. But that's when I realized I had no idea what I wanted to write about. I went through every idea I could, and I had exhausted all my options. I even considered doing the cliche Webster's Dictionary defines commencement as a beginning and not the end speech. Finally, though, after a couple hours of procrastinating, one word came to mind. Impact. But more specifically, what was the impact of the class of 2020 on their school and community? With this idea in mind, I began to look into how the class of 2020 has impacted their school, and I found some truly great things. Collectively, the class of 2020 has engaged in hundreds, if not thousands of hours of service to their community and beyond. They have had numerous state qualifications and appearances in sports and activities alike. They have maintained incredibly high GPAs, and most importantly, they have acted as excellent role models for the classes below them. Even walking through the hallways and seeing the reactions of others as they interact with them is a great indicator of their impact. In the end, despite trying to avoid this, this all led me back to one thing, the definition of commencement, a beginning, but certainly not an end. And I think this definition applies just as much to their impact, whether it be going to a trade school, a college or university, directly entering the workforce or joining the armed forces. This is certainly not the end of your impact. Rather, it is just a beginning. Keep working hard, be kind to one another, and always leave a positive impact on your surroundings. Class of 2020, we out. When I was younger, I had no concept of what it meant to remember. My innocent mind had only existed for so long, I would have never understood what it meant to even have memories, fragments of a past you can't ever return to. It had never occurred to me that soon, everything familiar and everything I held dear would fade away, lost to the ethereum. As I grew older, and my sense of mortality became more attuned to the frailty of my worldly vessel, it started to make more sense, and I developed two conclusions. I should make memories of people and things that I love, in a sense keeping them alive as long as I live. Additionally, I should do things other people will remember, so that I too will not fade. But now, only as I stand with all of my peers on the brink of adulthood, do I see that everything is fleeting, regardless of my efforts. I too will perish and whoever remembers me shall perish after. We will all be forgotten. With such a harsh reality manifesting itself before us, and in a time when an unfeeling force of chaos threatens to accelerate the already hastening loss of both body and mind, I'm sure we are all feeling hopeless. What's the point of excelling in a field, having a family, or even moving out? Why build the repertoire of achievements for it only to be burned in the flames of entropy? What's the point of fighting the inevitable? In 1918, in the final months of the First World War, over 96,000 French and American troops lost their lives in the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. This offensive signaled an end to the second deadliest war in human history. Every one of those soldiers' names has been forgotten. They are part of what we now refer to as the Silent Generation. In an age of such interconnectivity, it might be hard to fathom how so many names slip right through the cracks and never find their way into the annals of history. 
and yet they fought. The men who laid down their lives amidst the horrors of war may have never considered what would become of their legacy, but they still did what was right. And that's the key, that's the crux of what I'm trying to say. The people who are remembered most fondly, and the people who are remembered the longest, aren't remembered because they tried to be remembered. They are remembered because they tried. They tried to improve the world, to shape society into something anyone could remember fondly. Those who worked only to preserve their name lie in their tombs forgotten. The pharaohs of Egypt are seldom mentioned by name when compared to their pyramids, the great monuments others built in their honor. Yes, every legacy will fade, but the power and joy a single legacy can bring is so great, it's worth dedicating your life to achieve, because then you create memories that take longer to fade, legacies that are forgotten slower and slower, and humanity thrives in its eternal battle against our inevitable demise. The longer we fight, and the harder we try, the longer our legacies prevail over the forces of time and death. So, what does this all mean for you, class of 2020? My friends, my peers, the people who go out with me into this unforgiving, fading world. Well, what I've been trying to say is that in a time like this, when we are robbed of important events like prom, concerts, or a proper graduation, it feels like we are being denied memories. It feels like our legacies will be unmemorable and will fade quicker than those before and after us. But I also say that now more than ever is the time to push forward. Our class has suffered with the rest of the world through this pandemic, but we can work to conquer it, to forge our legacies out of helping to fix our world in the face of crisis, to bring smiles to those who lost more than a graduation ceremony. By pushing past our desire to remember and be remembered, we are carving our names on the great wall of history, a monument to humanity that will only fade at the end of days. So go forth, class of 2020, and don't try to be remembered. Be remembered by trying.
2020 graduates of St. Anthony Village High School, congratulations. You have persevered in your studies and are now ready to commence with the next chapter of your lives. The mission of District 282 is to educate, prepare, and inspire a community of lifelong learners, lifelong learners. I believe we can learn something from every situation we experience. You may have to look for it, use some of those critical thinking skills you've developed here in school, but every circumstance provides us an opportunity to learn. So what are we learning through our current situation? One thing I believe we have learned, or at least has been emphasized for us, is how essential relationships are, connections with friends. We crave being with precious people with whom we have shared life, shared laughs, shared struggles. Fortunately, we've been able to do some of that, but just not in person. In the years ahead, you may find that when you get busy with careers and homes, it's easy to let relationships kind of slide a little. I want to encourage you to be intentional about creating and cultivating connections with friends. Invest time and care in the people important to you because sharing life with others, the good times as well as the difficult ones, is healthy and precious. I know that under normal circumstances, you would be gathered in the gym with your classmates around you, your teachers behind you, your families, and your friends' families surrounding you in the bleachers. You would hear them, see them, and feel their pride for your accomplishment. I'm so sorry you're missing that experience, but please know that all those people are watching tonight, cheering for you from home, so proud of you and excited for your futures. But in addition to those people, there are many community members, more than in normal years, watching and cheering from you, for you from home as well. The younger families whose children will follow in your footsteps, the older people like me whose children have walked these halls and studied here before you. Community members who applauded at your concerts and your plays. Uh, they cheered at your sporting events and read about your academic successes. Please use your imaginations and feel our combined heartfelt pride for what you have accomplished and our encouragement for what you will do and be in the years to come. I speak to you on behalf of the school board, but from all of us in the St. Anthony New Brighton community, congratulations, great job. Keep on learning. We desire for you a life of purpose, meaning, and joy. Lily Alexander. <laughs> Alex Alvarado. El Bethel Amaha. Amaja Anderson. Elliot Anderson. Evan Anderson. Gabe Anderson. Jaden Anderson. Woo! 
Celeste Andreessen. Dima Andreviev. Charlie Ash. <laughs> Nicholas Avermedes. Ryan Ballot. Yaron Barrow, Quinn Benda, <laughs> Madeline Blake. Nicole Bona. <laughs> Michael Buffington. Antonella Cardoso. <laughs> Stefano Cardoso. Christina Carlson. Sarah Jo Carre. Josh Carey. Annie Chen. Darwin Chogio, Masane Sise, Tenzin Choksum. Searing Chopel. <laughs> Troy Christensen.
Perfect. Bird Coulter. Amira Crissini. <laughs> Nayeli Criollo. Jasmine Cuevas. <laughs> Davin Dahl. Flannery Dahlberg. <laughs> Dawa Damdal. <laughs> Aliyah. Danko. Aiden Deacon. Makai Dean. Will Diamond. <laughs> Yelizar Dergachev. Hannah Dixon. Dondup Doma. Okay. Don't keep it, it's yours. Caitlin Donahue. Tasha Duville. <laughs> Malk Elk Hodery. Mohammed El Khodri. <laughs> Troy Ellison. Everett Erdahl. Yeah. 
Nathan Ernster. Nathan Fagerly. Vincent Favorite. Micah Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Beck Freebie. James Frigstead. Ben Garrett. Olivia Geyer. <laughs> Rama Gelly. Jessica Goldsmith. Jasper Goldstein. Yeah. Kaya Gordon. Isaac Gossett, Allison Gutierrez, Omar Gutierrez. Tippa Gilson. <laughs> Sophia Hammond. Anna Hansen. <laughs> Jacob Hansen.
Salem Hatch, Siraj Hatch, Catherine Haugen, Andy Hayek. Joey Hayek. James Hinks. Ethan Hoffman. Ah, Lam Hussein. Khadija Hussein. Flip the tassel. There you go. Anna Hubner. Logan Aguirre. Marion Icar. Daniel Inga. And then go ahead and, no, just go down. You can walk down. <laughs> Melanie Inga. Sophia and Gracia. <laughs> Patrick Janky. Katia Jarmalowitz. Sarah Jonas. Nancy Junko Yapa. Greg Kendall. <clears throat> 
Kayleen Kerber. Owen Kies. Jonathan Kieran. Go ahead. Aaron King. Nathan King. <laughs> Kenneth Kipley. Jacob Klein. <laughs> Sam Kronig. Brady Larson. <laughs> Drew Larson. Rachel Larson, Soraya Larson, George Yapa. Grace Lulai. Adeline Lundgren. Tony Macarino. <laughs> Elizabeth Macias Hernandez. Jackson Mack.
Dylan Manning. Joey Manis. Nico Montras. Caleb Marquette. Henry Martin. Owen Martin. Jonah Martinez. Sophia Medvetsky. <laughs> Michael Meia. <laughs> Good tassel. Luca Mendez. <laughs> Abby Meyer. Shiren Michael. <laughs> Sophia Miller. Siham Mohammed. And flip your tassel. Isabella Mooney. Tenzin Namdal. Yes. Woo! Tate Nelson. Khalid Noor.
Devin Noose. Madison Noose. Julissa Ortiz. Jacob Palmer. Layla Pervez. Tatiana Pasusta. Brian Quimby. Yeah! Christian Quito Batista. Nick Richardson. <laughs> Lessing Roberts. Haley Radkowicz. Lucy Rogers. <laughs> Anna Rosha. Nayeli Sakta. Yep. <laughs> Owen Salzwittle. Sam Sibbett. Woo! Kunga Sangmo. Elena Schenkenberg. <laughs> Ryan Sanders. 
Rena Shinoy. Eno Kenti Sharon. And flip your tassel. Okay. Elijah Stevens. Sophie Stokel. <laughs> Olma Tedesi. <laughs> Julia Temple. Natan Tashome. Annika Thomas. Jordana Thompson. <laughs> Timothy Lane Tomerlin. Daniel Torres. <laughs> Olivier Tostevin. Katie Tran. Anna Trombley. Andy Trong. All right, Andy. Tashi Searing. Sophia Valdez.
Katie Van Kuyken. Joel Vargas, Fatima Wadi, Tenzin Wongduck, Grace Welter. Martha White. <laughs> Sam Whithoft. Lily Zig. Hello and, and congratulations St. Anthony Village High School graduating seniors. Uh, how I wish I actually could be looking at all of your uh, faces right now and the families that, that you bring to, to your lives, um, but unfortunately that's not the case. But what I've learned in the last few months, St. Anthony New Brighton, we can find joy in almost all circumstances and happiness in many new ways. Um, so my job is supposed to be sending you off with words of wisdom, um, sage advice, um, but before I do that, I need to remind you of our past. Um, in 1961, actually, uh, St. Anthony Village High School was just under construction. So there was no secondary building. There was no middle school, high school building. And um, all of our kiddos that were in elementary schools went off to um, other schools around the Twin Cities, and there was no St. Anthony Village High School. Um, but then that changed. In 1961, the building was being built, and as the building was being built and everyone was going to be coming in and being new uh, students in the high school, in the middle school, um, over the summer, everyone was anxiously, you know, getting all of their trapper keepers together. I don't know if they had trapper keepers in 61, but they were getting everything prepared, and then all of a sudden, the metal workers of the Twin Cities went on strike. Um, I don't know much about metal workers, but I do know that the, there's a lot of metal in the school and they were uh, needed to finish the school building project. And so a few days went on and um, sure enough, that strike wasn't ending and people were getting nervous. It was getting closer and closer to September, ho the hope for school to open. And this is where, this is the key here. This is what's in your blood. This is your DNA as a St. Anthony Village uh, soon to be graduate. Um, those those students uh, took things into their own hands. They went up to the school, they made their own signs, for, and they did a counter strike. And they said, end the strike, we wanna go to school. And I think all of us right now in this graduating class understand what it feels like to want to go to school thinking about this spring. So the kiddos went up to there, right up into what is now the, the, the loop in the front of the building. They had signs and they said, let us go back to school. We want to be back at school. And they said things like, you know, we don't want to have to lose our winter break because, you know, later you start school, you might not be able to have winter break. And they, they and I have no idea if the, if the students were the ones that inspired the end of the strike. I do know the students were featured as a picture in the Minneapolis Star, which was no longer the, was not yet the Star Tribune, and their picture was in there. And in the yearbook in 1961, they highlighted the the enthusiasm and that spirit, that fighting spirit that St. Anthony had to attend school. And I think that's what I'm trying to key key in on about what it means to be a graduate of St. Anthony Village High. So you're part of something. You're part of something that this community is about this idea that we do things that are hard. 
And another example is, you know, I don't know what everyone else does during COVID, but I look through old yearbooks. And so I was looking through the 1963 yearbook, and I believe that's the yearbook that was like the first hardcover villager. And as I was looking through it, I found this quote, the very beginning of the, the yearbook, and it says, as this, this is the students writing it, many of us discovered that in everything, whether it be planning a homecoming dance, practicing football plays, or holding a debate, hard work was necessary. Using extra hours after school for projects meant much sacrifice. This was rewarded, this was rewarded by the satisfaction of having done something well. Having the satisfaction of having done something well. Seniors, you soon to be graduates, you have done something well. You have represented St. Anthony New Brighton schools with hard work. You've done it with honor. Um, it has been nothing but a pleasure to be sometimes your principal and now your superintendent. I want you to go out into this world with the idea that you are part of something. This community has surrounded themselves to support you and you have this inside you, this idea that that satisfaction comes from a job well done and the hard work. The best, best predictor of the future is what has happened in the past. And you have all have shown where greatness can happen, even in times of crisis. And I expect nothing but the best for all of you. I will miss every single one of you. I will miss your families. Thank you.